Hello, today we are going to talk about invariant EKF for a localization. In our presentation, we will briefly describe the motivation and derivation of our filter, and we will also present our results. Um, the motivation behind our project is that the process model of a six degree of freedom vehicle is nonlinear. Historically, we can approximate those models, um, but the convergence of these approximation methods are not guaranteed. Invariant EKF allows us to model the aerodynamics using log linear equations and it guarantees a convergence. So for our project, we derive invariant EKF for aerial vehicles using IMU, gyroscope, and GPS data, and we also provide an implementation in C++. Methods, two sections, from problem key points to model derivation. First, based on our data, we choose live invariant EKF in SE23 and account for bias. Next, for our model, firstly, we use the augment bias with error and find the Jacobian A matrix from system dynamics with log linear property of error. Then, we discretizing the system dynamics to find the predictions. Next, we write down the observation model to retain the autonomous property of the invariant EKF. Finally, we use unscented transform to transfer the covariance to P matrix from lead to Cartesian. In order to test our filter under a set of controlled conditions, we generated a simulated data set in MATLAB. We use this simulated data set to verify the correctness of our filter and test its robustness to different levels of sensor noise. These plots show the filter estimation closely following the ground truth despite high sensor noise. We also use the generated data set to compare the performance of a typical EKF to our invariant EKF. Here we show that the EKF estimation quickly diverges during large rotations while the invariant EKF maintains an accurate estimate. So how well do these filters work on real data? Well, we applied the filters to the Zurich Urban dataset, which contains GPS, IMU, and gyro data for a drone traversing part of Zurich. The dataset also came with a ground truth, and in comparing the results of the filter to the ground truth, we can see that the filter essentially only tracks the GPS data. The IMU data is too noisy to be useful, even though we're using bias correction. This means that in places where the GPS data is noisy, our state estimation is equally noisy. There is not a significant difference between the EKF and invariant EKF performance in this case. So in conclusion, we have implemented invariant EKF in both MATLAB and C++ and EKF in MATLAB as the baseline. For the fake data, left invariant EKF outperformed EKF in both position and orientation tracking and its variance is bounded nicely because of autonomous error dynamics. However, the advantage of left invariant EKF is not so obvious for the Zurich urban dataset, since both filters are tracking the GPS closely. In future work, we might want to test our invariant EKF um, on other datasets. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much.